It's easy to think of debates as being about two separate things, a bunch of arguments and a bunch of rebuttal. But in reality, arguments and rebuttal are basically the same thing. What debates are actually about is themes or clashes, which is where we get the term thematic rebuttal. Thematic rebuttal is the most advanced type of rebuttal. It can be challenging at first to get used to, but it is incredibly effective. We're going to walk you through today exactly what thematic rebuttal is and how you do it. Hi everyone! Welcome to another video in our Conquering Debating series. My name is Aleth. And my name is Bree. If we think about a basic third speaker structure, you have your rebuttal and then you have your summary. Thematic rebuttal is where you bring those two things together and break up the debate into themes, which are also known as clashes or issues. If you think about how a debate works, you make an argument, the other side rebuts that argument, makes its own argument that is probably the opposite of your argument, and then you then rebut that rebuttal, rebut that argument, and then summarize your own original argument again. That's doing the same thing three times. Let's take a look at a quick example to help that make a little bit more sense. I make an argument at first affirmative that said that there is a problem in the status quo that needs to be solved. And my first argument at negative is to say that there isn't a problem in the status quo that needs to be resolved. And as the debate goes on, we both keep arguing about this point and providing new rebuttal. Thematic rebuttal in this example would take all of the different arguments and rebuttal about the problem in the status quo and bring it together into one theme where you seek to prove that there is a problem in the status quo. Or, in my case, that there isn't a problem in the status quo. Sometimes it can be difficult to figure out what the themes are. So let's look at three common and useful strategies for coming up with themes. This method looks to find commonalities between the arguments the teams have made and what they've argued over the most. Usually, if teams keep going back and forth on one idea, it makes for a pretty good theme. What you're looking for here is where teams make the same argument from opposite perspectives, like in our previous example. If you're using this method, here are some things that you can look for to build themes. Does each side have a principle? And which principle is more important? Or do both sides talk about similar impacts, even if they apply to different stakeholders? Or are there common stakeholders between the teams, but you're actually just arguing about what happens to the stakeholder? All of those could be themes. Using stakeholders as your themes can be quite a useful way to break up a debate, especially if the debate has argued about multiple different stakeholders. Let's look at an education debate, for example. Almost every education debate, both teams will find themselves arguing about the impact on students, the impact on teachers, and the impact on parents. Well, there you have it. Three themes ready to go. If all else fails and you're struggling to come up with themes, or especially if you're just trying thematic rebuttal for the first time, falling back onto a set of standard themes that you can use across many different debates is really useful. These work especially well in should debates. The three themes you us you'll usually come across are, number one, is there a problem with the status quo? Number two, is the model effective in solving that problem? And number three, looking at any other benefit or harms that may come up in the debate. Most debates cover those three areas. If we look at the example that we should replace all in-school exams with take-home assignments, your first theme should look at whether there is a problem with exams, maybe stress. Secondly, does moving to assignments actually fix a problem? Does the stress continue either way? And thirdly, your miscellaneous benefits or harms issue might be the impact on teachers. Do they have a hard time marking one or the other? That brings us to the end of this video. Hopefully you've now learnt a bit more about thematic rebuttal and how to do it. Remember, it can be difficult to grasp at first, but if you keep trying, you'll inevitably master it. Give it a go in your next debate and let us know in the comments how it went. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. We'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.